Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Are you a micromanager, especially with the kids? You know, the other day an interesting question came up about the internet and censoring the internet with your kids and monitoring them and holding them accountable about what they're watching on there. And I was asked the question, do you think you ought to just let it go or do you think by confronting them about all the things they're looking at is going to create more problems? In my opinion on that is, I think you ought to just kind of let it go. Put your sensors on there and put your parental controls on there. However, they can get around it anyway on their smartphone, on anything now. It's easy to get around it. They can even go to their friend's house. So you censoring the home computer and making a big deal out of it only brings more consciousness to it and makes them feel as though they want to do it more. You know how we are. The more we are told we can't do something, the more we're going to prove that we can. That's kind of in human nature, and you definitely do not want to discount that in your kids. What I recommend you do is allow yourself to have discussions about what they're watching on the internet and act interested and never reprimand them for it. It's just learning, no matter what it is. And if you find themselves on an inappropriate site on the internet, ask them what their intention is about that and talk to them in a gentle way about what you feel could be wrong with that and how it's inappropriate for them to be looking at that too and really make sense out of it, not just, just because mom says so or just because dad says so. You know, the kids today are a lot smarter than we give them credit and that's a good thing. We've got to allow them to explore. We're never going to be able to save them from their own incompetencies. Remember when you were told not to do certain things, you did them anyway and you had to learn your own lessons, your mother couldn't save you? That's kind of the way it is with your kids. It's a whole new world we're living in now with these kids. They're very sharp. They know what's going on. You're not going to protect them from it. They've got to learn how to manage through it. And the best person to help them manage through it is you. So it's about having healthy discussions with them. It's about talking openly and honestly and earnestly about these things without putting emotions into it, anger into it, screaming and yelling, and a lot of punishment into it. Also, I don't believe in taking things away from someone when they do something wrong. I think it's better to teach them how to manage themselves and how to manage those privileges because eventually they're going to be moving out and you're not going to be there to protect them. So take advantage of this time right now while they're there with you. And even if they're a college student and they're still living at home, you're still a mentor. It's time to act like a mentor, not so much a parent, a mentor. And a mentor teaches. And watch out for those emotions because that's deadly. All that's going to do is drive them into the dark crevices of secrecy where you really won't know what's going on with them. Let's work on that a little bit. It all works out in the end if you'll just have patience, endurance, a little bit of courage, and not judge them. Understand they're in the business of learning. You're in the business of teaching. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary asking you to have a very, very good day. Bye-bye.